Hey kids, hey look, it's me over here. How about we do that instead? Um, welcome everybody, uh, happy holidays to you. Uh, Christmas Day, episode 201, we are streaming live uh, here from Costa Rica. Uh, Mark Miller here, Rory Becker, who normally uh, hangs out with us, is not joining us today. He's having a good time with his uh, family, I imagine, over the holidays. And, um, and let's take a look at the code. Today we're gonna be working on our Dungeons and Dragons map editor and uh, it's not bad I'll show you where we left off yesterday here we're going to run this and uh, we're drawing walls by the way I should probably explain the title chocolate hot chocolate overdose last night I was making this so, so I'm on the ketogenic diet no sugar I was making some sugar-free <laughs> hot chocolate last night had a canister of powder cocoa and artificial sweetener and just shaking it lightly and gently like this and then plump. And I was like, all right, no biggie. I'll just stir that up and have like eight times my normal dosage of hot chocolate. And last night I was like, whoa. And this morning I was like, whoa, what's going on? Uh, and uh, so we'll see. I think I'm, Karen, my wife asked this morning, she goes, are you gonna be able to do your show? And I said, I think I'm minimally, I, I think I'm minimally competent to do the show today, to write the code we need to write. So uh, here, let's give this a floor. And what we were working on yesterday was the ability to like grab an area and say, in this selection, I want the left wall to be, I want there to be a left wall here, or I want there to be a, uh, a wall along the top of that. And uh, when we click that, uh, there it is. It put the wall in. Not in the right spot. Here, let's uh, look at this. Not in the right spot. It needs to go down about uh, 60 pixels, pixels, half of this, uh, this size right here. So at least we need to do that. And the, the length is not correct as well. We're basically taking this one asset that we've got out here. Let me see if I can uh, show you all the assets. Here we go. Uh, jump in here. And then the maps, and then the walls. <coughs> These are the assets that we've created. Uh, one is a horizontal wall, and the other is a vertical wall, and that's as big as they are. So at this point, we are simply just drawing that horizontal wall. I think the first bug I'm gonna fix is, let's get this thing lined up so it's in the right spot. So the center of this is in the center of this right down here. What's kind of interesting to me, it's just now occurring to me, is, uh, oh, it must be lined with the top of this piece right here. So we need to kind of figure out what the width of that piece is, the height of this bitmap is, and cut it in half. It's 117. Okay, so uh, the center point is half of 117. Um, let's figure some of this stuff out here. Uh, where was I? Add segments. The add segments called set wall. Set wall calls on wall changed. That calls the event handler, which calls build walls. And here we're just doing a simple check to see, we're going through all of our map data and checking to see if the map has a horizontal wall at the specified row and column. And then we're calling draw image over tile horizontal wall. And the, here's where we need to give it an offset, is what I think we need to do. Um, yeah, let's do that. So let's, uh, let's kill the app for a second. Let's change the parameters here. Let's uh, create two uh, integer offsets here. We're gonna call this X offset. And let's do another one, Y offset right here. And let's then uh, initialize both of these by default to zero. And then we're gonna come down here and say, uh, tile pixel X plus X offset, like that. Oh, I just remembered I need to shut down my Dropbox, which I'll do. That When I pause Dropbox, I notice kind of a, uh, a surge in disk activity for a brief moment and then everything kind of settles down. So we might uh, see a little bit of slowdown. 
Okay, so draw image over tile is there. There's our offset. Now, in, for the horizontal wall, we want to bring this down. So, uh, what do I have out here dealing with walls? I got something called wall orientation. Yeah, I think it's in the map. I think the map is where I'm going to put this. I'm going to create a new constant here. New constant here, and I'm going to call this uh, wall. Um, thickness, wall image thickness, it's 117. I'm assuming that's the same for both uh, the horizontal and vertical. Yep, that's 117 as well. So both of those have a thickness of 117. Uh, might as well go in and say, do I want to do this or no? Oh, you know what? Actually, I have got I don't need to do this because I have got uh, the horizontal wall, I think has got a property in here there. I think these are the ones we want to work on right here. <laughs> Measured in units, 96 of an inch. Yeah, so if there's 96 pixels per inch, that's going to be a pixel. So we're going to say width is going to be our, our offset. So, so what we'll do here is we'll go, we'll go back with that. And then we're going to offset it. The horizontal wall dot height actually is the one I want here, divided by 2. And is it complaining that that can't convert that to an int? Is that what it is? Yeah, it can't convert a double to an int. Let's just see if we can do that. There we go. So now it can. Uh, so we're going to draw image over the tile. We're going to draw, that's the, uh, the x offset. We want it to be 0, but the y offset, we want it to be that distance. So let's see if that fixes it. Let's get some music started here since Rory's not with us today. <coughs> Here it is, and let's double click that. Actually, let's, um, let's instead select like this, hit the top button for the horizontal wall, and there it is. And how are we doing there? Okay, so we've added half of the distance uh, is what we've done. And I don't think the, the math is not feeling uh, right to me on this. Well, we can clearly see it's off by a bit. Um, I think what we need to do is we need to I think we need to uh, Is it, what's interesting is it's, yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. Um, why is it not quite lined up here? We were adding half the distance, so half the distance from here to here, and Oh, interesting. We're seeing. I'm. I was like, wait. I'm seeing a line here and a line here, but I'm realizing that line is because I had three different segments here, and we're not getting the length of this right. Um, yeah, it needs to go down a little bit more. But the question is, what's the right math to get it down uh, a little bit more? Now, before it was lined up right here. Uh, actually, I wanted to add. What I really want to do is add half of this pixel width to start it um, no I think I know what I I think I, it goes like this I think it goes like um, I think the math is do I have tile dot 
yeah, height minus m, because it's got to go down one complete one and then subtract. I think that might be the right math right there. Let's see if that looks, how that looks. Here we go. And let's do that. Let's draw a horizontal line. And uh, let's take a look at that. That is looking centered to me. Looks way better. Okay, not bad. Now we gotta get this the right length is what we have to do. So we need to crop this. Draw image over tile um, allows me to pass these in, but it doesn't allow me to pass any kind of cropping pieces. Let's go look at what's going on with crop image uh, two. So the pixel width and pixel height is uh, pretty sure that's of the source image. Source bytes per line, that is, oh wait, hold on. We have a slight problem here. Now we're using pixel width to both calculate the amount of bytes per line in the source, which is true if the width of the source is equal to the width of the image itself. But when we create this rect right here, this is the rect from which we copy and write the pixels to. This is different. So what are we gonna do about this? How are we gonna change this code so it's more flexible? is the question. All right. Um, Well, <laughs> or maybe we can actually, let's just see if we can give it a shorter width if this whole thing is gonna work. Right pixels two is called from here, so here's copy image two. Uh, let's try just as, let's try it and see what happens. Cause I'm not familiar with the uh, image writing API. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, width override is what I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna set it equal to negative one. And uh, then I'm gonna come down and say, hey, uh, if uh, width override is uh, greater than uh, zero, then I'm gonna say pixel width is equal to width override. Like that. Then uh, in our call to copy image two, which is, I'm just hitting escape to jump back. There it is. Draw image over tile, sorry, one more back. There it is, right there. Here we have that additional parameter now. Nope, we don't. Oh, we gotta go add that parameter here. Okay, so there's draw image over tile there. And now the width override over here, let's just set it to like say uh, 50 for now and see what happens. See if we get a shorter version of that uh, and see if that works. Maybe we won't have to make any changes, significant changes to that code down there. Get a problem? Oh. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, so that's not gonna work. Let's, uh, we're gonna have to stop it a second. Let's continue though. I still wanna play with this idea. Let's do this instead. Pass it down here. And let's play with it here instead. Like that. That's what I'm looking at right there. Let's see what that does. Minimally competent today, kids. Disclaimer! Mark doesn't know what he's doing! That might be true. That might be true, kids. All right. So there is the... Uh, select that. Oh, look at that. It worked. Nice. Okay. Next, we've got to figure out, um, we, have to f we have to get this matching uh, our uh, original spec uh, that we put out here. So the wall, we have to make sure the wall goes, uh, starts at the right spot. So that's the next minor bug issue to fix. And uh, according to the spec, the wall needs to start 25 pixels in, okay, right there. So that's what we need. We need to get that wall 25 pixels in. That's pretty easy to fix, actually. That's gonna be, um, that's gonna be this X parameter right here, X offset 25. So let's set a breakpoint here. Let's get at another uh, wall right here on the top. Let's change this to 25, and both should adjust to the new position. And I should probably not use the magic number 25. Yeah, there we go, right there. What, you don't know what you're doing here? It's true. Benarki, nice to have you out here with us uh, on this uh, Christmas uh, holiday here. All right, I do not know what I'm doing, kids. Uh, also, I'm still, you know, you know, recovering from a ch hot chocolate overdose last night where I took uh, eight times the recommended uh, serving of uh, hot chocolate cocoa powder and uh, uh, head is still spinning. Okay, so that's good. Now let's get the length right, right? Right now we're drawing two different, you know, pieces of the wall and I don't wanna do that. I wanna use uh, the whole long image. I wanna collect and use as much of this as I can before repeating it and, and we end. So we kinda need to really figure out that. Um, now, the question is, I think what we want to do here I think I want to collect the walls we want to draw into a, into a sequence of objects. I think Uh oh, just lost uh. One of my monitors. And uh, let's go take a look at what's going on with that. See if I can get that recovered here. Display settings. Yep, definitely lost a monitor. Mm. Should I try to get it back is the question. What can I unplug and how bad will it be when I unplug it? Let's give this a shot. And here we go, plugging back in. Is it gonna find it? Got it, nice. Got the monitor back. And now let's uh, figure out why OBS Studio isn't grabbing it. Hmm, it's got the right one selected. 
What if I turn it off and turn it back on? Will you get it now? Oh, come on, OBS. That's not good. Let's switch to display one instead. See how we're doing. It's not even grabbing that monitor. Uh, wait, I thought it, maybe it didn't take it. There we go. There's display one. Now switch back to display three. Oh, why? Okay, let's try one more thing. Not showing you what's on three. Let's go back into the monitor settings here, the display settings, and try making a small adjustment on three, moving it around a bit and hitting apply. Am I really gonna have to stop and restart the stream because OBS can't see what's on the display three? That looks like it's the case. How else can I get this to refresh itself? What if I turn it, let me try one more setting change here. No, nope, that didn't work either. 